Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Frostpunk and the Arcs. We are on day number six, so let's try and go to day number ten, the second time that it warms up. What can I do for you? Dangers of the cold frostbite. One of our people has become gravely ill due to frostbite. This will keep happening if people have to work in the cold. Consider signing radical treatment or sustain life. Okay, it's... It's happening. Let me uh, go and try and get the infirmary. Fundamental research. So an engineer is asking for a day off to study an automaton closely. The automaton automatons can be improved. They may be the pinnacle of our technology, but if we learn how to make them, then surely we can learn how to make them better. If I take a closer look at any machine, I can I can adjust it to improve its performance. Why should it be any different with them? Yeah, go for it. If you think you can do something. And our expedition is about to arrive at somewhere that I've forgotten because it was like 24 hours ago or more than that that I actually sent them. Oh yeah, you went there, didn't you? Short tunnel leads into a vast natural cave complex. I was about to call that a cavern, but... It seems to have been used as a warehouse. There's still some supplies here. Oh, wonderful. Let's have them. On the verge of collapse, this cave could collapse at any moment. It's no wonder it hasn't been turned into a permanent shelter. I'll take what we can and leave before we're trapped here or trapped in here or worse. Wow. 200 trees and 36 food. Nice. Come on back, I think. Actually, do you know what? Do you want to go over to there? There's probably like some coal or something. I would imagine is what is over there. I might need to build. Oh, didn't realise that wasn't operating. That's not good. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not good either. <laughs> Nothing is going particularly well. Oh, did I not unfreeze you? Oh, my bad. No, okay. That needs to stay heated. That needs to stay heated. Everything needs to stay heated. Actually. Can we just build another middle ground post? We can always we can always take them down if we don't need them. Because we've got quite a lot of sick people here now. End of shift. Go we need to start treating people. Uh. Oh, actually, we can, um, we can make stuff for them, can't we? I forgot about that. Yeah, we can make stuff for them. Yeah, we do have to resort to this because we can actually fix them. Well, I say fix them. We can give them prosthetics. So that works. It sucks, but it works. I think we might need to make a second hothouse. It's kind of annoying, but we, you know, we need fuel. <laughs> we need food, so. Right, what do we actually need? We're fine on coal. Trees are coming back. Still, we're not using. How long until they come back? They're going to the other place. So, in the meantime, we can't do that yet because we don't have enough trees. There's going to be somewhere for a wall drill. I would hope there's somewhere for a wall drill. We are eventually, though, going to need coal. And I don't really want to use the, um, the steam cores. Test subject needed. Um, yeah, go on then. We've got more than enough. Do, 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 do. The mine is at risk of being buried by an avalanche at any time. It must have been abandoned a long time ago. Judging by the exper equi experiment, <laughs> judging by the equipment, it looks like this mine was constructed before the Great Winter, possibly by the first prospectors. To explore the area, the great disarray inside the building suggests that they were abandoned abruptly, presumably due to some sort of earthquake. Many valuable ma 
resources remain inside. Oh, 200 coal and 85 still. Hell yes. Right, do you want to head back? Because I could really do with the uh, trees that you have. Sign the uh, prosthetics law. So, <laughs> annoyingly, we kind of need more people, <laughs> and we don't have them. I am not sure you can actually get more people in the arcs. I genuinely cannot remember. I suppose in this one, the people are even more of a resource than in a new home. Hey, they have returned. Nice. Get home. Work time. Get back to work. Pop that in there. Do you know what? I might as well send you guys out. Uh, they're both close enough to each other, so whatever. Two days, jeez. That's rough. And we don't need you to be clearing away that stuff. We need you to be making food. Gold Thumper, wonderful. Automating project, steam core needed. Uh, the engineer has been working on the automating project, sent in his report. He broke the automaton he borrowed. Now he wants a steam core. The damage hasn't been done for nothing. We can fix the broken machine. On top of that, we can now adjust the automations to make them work faster. The engine is busy now. Busy again now. But he said he's on to something really exciting. Five percent? Is that it? Oh, yeah. Go on, then. Do something, I guess. <laughs> right, let's unlock that so we can get the uh, infirmary and such. Brace and yourself. here comes gold the gold again. Slap on those heaters. Prosthetics. Listen, everyone. Yes. New law is signed. <laughs> They're getting a prosthetic. <laughs> Nice one. They are no longer gravely ill. Wonderful. A huge success. Sir. The automation project is complete. Automations can now be produced at a lower cost than using medical facilities. Awesome. We learned to modify the automations with precision attachments, allowing them to work on the most fragile thing we know of the human body. It also turns out we can remove some non essential parts. Cost of automation is fall by 5%. Uh, not much, but yeah, I know. It's something. Automations are performing admirably. Now we have to make enough of them to automate all the critical operations in the city before the storm hits. The only way to ensure the seedling arcs will be supported throughout the storm. Well, well, well. I. Um, employ at least two automatons and the coal industry okay so we need how many do we have we have three we need two more okay no that's prosthetics we have three we need two more 95 steel 95 wood 47 coal and a steam core jeez that's expensive that is very very expensive what on earth are you doing to that machine? Go rest all who can. Are you like kneeling at it to... Oh, I thought you were like just grabbing a hold of it and just hanging onto the side of it. <laughs> that looked really weird. Um, right, in that case, we're going to need coal mining instead of the thumpers because that only counts as one 
which means we'll need two thumpers and four automatons and I am not building an extra two automatons or I'm not building an extra automaton because they're expensive as hell well ladies and gents once again we have reached our four day marker and once again I feel like I have achieved absolutely nothing in this video so we're gonna carry on <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, it's been about 20 minutes, so like five minutes per day, so I'm gonna aim for like day 12 probably, and then cut that One down time. into a video. Yeah. Uh, these guys are arriving soon-ish. Basically, we've got to start researching stuff to cover off this auto autonomous city. So we're gonna have to do, we're going to have to do coal mining because the thumper zone count is one, even though it takes two to use them. Then we'll do, I think, wall drill and steel works. That will cover the steel and wood. And then they can be run by automatons. So that solves that. Actually, do you know what? You use you for that. Actually, it's probably worth. Do you want to go and harvest the rest of them? Oh, that. I thought that was advice. I. Uh, if, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we need to go and search for places. That's arriving fast, damn. We might have to go and do the south pass first. I don't really have time to like research all the speeding up of um, sleds and everything like that. I don't really have time to do it, I'm afraid. A distinct spot in Frostland, we can use it as a waypoint for further exploration. Our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we may be able to reach some promising locations from here. How far away is that? 12 hours? Mm, yeah, let's go for it. We've got two options for the steam cores, so let's go for it. It's not that far away. What I really want to do is build a second workshop because our research needs to go faster than this. I know we only have limited amounts of people, but our, our research needs to go faster than this. And they have arrived. Coal and steel. The building was destroyed by a powerful avalanche. Its interior is filled with snow, but we should be able to access it to re retrieve some resources. Wonderful. We discovered a bounty of resources as we dig through the snow. Sadly, th that was not what we found. The avalanche killed everyone who worked here. The corpses have been frozen solid. The relatively light clothes and insignature. Insignature? Insignia? of Her Majesty's Prospector Corp suggests that these were explorers sent north to look for suitable places for generators during the onset of the Great Winter. Maybe it's for the best that they weren't there to witness the fall of the Empire. Damn. That's a lot of resources. Right, get back there. Two days and 20 hours. Jeez, that's a lot. That's not good. That is not good. Right, we are quite a way away from being able to afford them. So, I'm going to do the wall drill next. Uh, I've got to go for the extended shift. That I think that extra four hours each day, each side is going to make a lot of difference. I'm not, not going to do the 24 hours, don't worry. Yeah, they will only... Well, I'm not going to use them. I have no intention of using them. I wish you could, like, say that. <laughs> No intention of using them. Do not worry. Wool drill. 20 wood. Right. Scrap off the workers in that. Shove them on that. And on that's full. Steel automaton is available. Okay, so take the automaton off of that. Take the people off of that. And put them on that. And far away. Go help in the medical. Letter of thanks, sir. An engineer is here to see you. He has a letter from to you from his team. My workers have asked me to deliver this. They're plain people, so it reads like bad poetry. But here's the gist of it: they want to thank you. The sight of this automaton working tirelessly in the inhuman cold, where previously they toiled and suffered, is something worth living for. Wonderful. They're not working over there, but I'll take it. <laughs> right, we need steel. Go and harvest. Okay, so I think they s function slightly slower. 
so there's been an accident and an automaton stepped on a man crushing his leg and crippling him for life people argue that the automaton should walk more slowly and careful even if it's the cost of their efficiency yeah okay slow him down slow him on down Right, if there's people working in there, then you come off of that and you go on that. There we go. And then we won't have that issue. Plus, I think with people being in there, they actually work slightly faster anyway. Um, yeah, okay. I can do that. I think we're going to have to... Yeah, we're going to have to... We have to do that. We're gonna have to be careful here how we're doing things. How's the storm getting on? It's getting pretty close, but we're still doing all right. We're gonna have to be careful here how we do things because I think I might fail that because we need to turn these into bunk houses. But I need to get the wool drill to get enough wood to do it because if I start doing it now, I'm not sure I'm going to have enough wood to replace the wood that we're using f for construction to actually build the wall drill. So I've got to do things kind of in a certain order in order to not kill myself, basically. <laughs> is the gist of it it's fine they're working well on that it's fine that's what i want to sign there we go hear me hear me new law in the city it's only on those it's only on those it's not on anything else it is not on anything else it's just on those Right, let's hit an automation on that because we need, actually, probably need steel more than we need the extra wood. Let's go and do the steel. Right. I thought it might be in that cavern. Okay, let's take the that off of that. And then you can go and do steel works. And then the automaton can go and automate that. Stuck automaton. So an automaton has tangled itself. Hopefully, it's a sign building. We can't free it without partially dismantling one or the other. That means shutting down either the automaton or the building. The automaton will be unable to work for the next 12 hours. The coal thumper will be unable to work for the next 12 hours. Well, that's fine because there's loads of coal to pick up on the back of it. There's tons of coal to pick up on the back of it, so that's fine. We don't need that operating. Right, come off of that and go and build the uh, go and build the wall drill before it gets mega, 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 mega cold. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, yes, that's gonna be close to being freezing. Uh, steel. Where is steel? There it is. And the next thing I know I'm going to need because the, um, the heat's going to go crazy is those. I know I'm going to be needing those next. Right, go and build all of that stuff. It is important. There you go. Right. Build away, build away, build away. Uh, where else are we using automatons? Or we don't, we only have. We need steel and we need wood. We are harvesting steel. That's fine. Why are we still at no Oh my god. No, put them in there. Brace yourselves. Cold is coming. Oh, crap. It's a good thing we are researching. Because the heaters are turned on in almost all of those buildings. Right, build some prosthetics because they need. We need four prosthetics. Prosthetics if it's visible. Jeez, even with the heater on. Oh no, that's functioning. 
Good thing we are researching those though. Right. That is day number 13 because I lost track of what I'm doing. But we have steelworks going. We have the wall drill going. Medical is kind of being solved. The heaters are being researched. That's fine. We have tons and tons and tons of coal to be harvested. So that is not a problem. Um, we are, however, going to need to research the actual the actual coal mines because as i said at the start of the video there's two automatons on there but they only count as one being used in the coal industry not two so that means if i just build another thumper i would have to build another automaton which are expensive as hell so once we've all done all of that i will then also be turning these tents into bunk houses to keep my people warm which will also help with the medical situation as always ladies and gents thank you very much for watching thank you very much for your support and i will see you in the next episode